has, but when you're a C-class rider with a monster lid, it's quite confusing. I met a gypsy. Because I think that, that, like, it's interesting you mentioned Axel, because that's kind of one of the things in my mind when I was even saying that about Hayden is Axel kind of was that dude. Like, he grew up riding with McGrath, and he was around all these people. But on the flip side of that, it's like... For him, it, it's like his baseline of normal is like already at the top of the sport. Like you're almost maxed out. So if anything that he does that is in his mind that's like above and beyond, then it reaches this level here. And then that's like what you've seen with Axel. And oh. and because he was so, so desensitized, man, just so desensitized to what would make a normal kid froth out was just like his everyday shit. Yeah, I went to Powder Mountain. It was a, a one-off race in Utah. Axel was on a CRF 150 and like he hung was hanging with McGrath and Pingree and and guys that like you know and I'm I'm tagging along with the crew as well and he's you know 14 hanging out with us racing and you know it, he wasn't that good of a racer he had like gnarly speed on camera with iPhone vids with PH filming him and whatnot yeah, yeah. but like he was trying to follow the norm like that Behrman Axel like that was the era like you have to follow this path there's only one path and like that path was was what it was and I think Hayden though like he has the path he has the results he has like mm. the Loretta Lynn's titles where Axel won the C-class title at Loretta's yeah like he was the C-class stunner which for those of you listening means <laughs> nothing <laughs> it means nothing yeah. but you know he was hated on because he everyone thought what he had was because of his brother being the monster team manager yeah right well, I think it's clear to say in the last three years, he's earned the fact that like monster be writing fat checks, whether his brother was signing him or not. Right. He's earned everything he has. But when you're a C class writer with a monster lid, it's quite confusing. <laughs> 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 like, like, like I'm a huge fan of Axel Hodges and what he does like on and off the track with his chick on her social, whatever they're doing as a couple, I'm a fan on yeah. fan of. Right. But like Hayden Dingen is on another level as a racer at 15 year olds than Axel Hodges was. Axel yeah. Hodges was an enthusiast. Hayden Dingen has a chance to be a future champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a cool take on it. And the uh, the thing with Axel too, man. Like his mark that he will leave on the industry is huge. Him, and, him and Berriman, full game changer. Like I look at like Kalana Humphreys, the you know um, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah the young kid yep. yeah. Probably be the next Axel. Probably be the next Berriman. He's in that crew. He's kicking around. And it's like, hey, his dad's a fucking gnarly businessman. Yeah. And it's like, do you want your kid to go into the field and be like the stack racer, dude? Or, oh, or man. man, like, hey, this whole Berriman fucking Hodges thing. We There's no next kid for that. Who's the next? Who's the next so Axel? I, who's I, the next Berriman? Oh, this is, this, is a, this is a good topic, man. Here's my take on it. It's a lot of people try to like, oh, I'm going to be a free rider. I'm going to be lifestyle. There's a smaller window of making a living doing that than actually racing. Yeah. Because you have to do things no one else can do, right? Like that. Go uh, there's a couple kids on social globally that like crush it, like doing free riding, right? A lot of Who SoCal. Who else is it? There's that Gordon Eck or something. He's a kid. Such Gordon that, Eck. He's pretty legit. You know, like I think, uh, um, G O R D, I think. Eck, he's he's like so he's one of he does like a, he copies Axel, right? Like, but he's insane on a bike. What's his Instagram? Let me check it. Um, the kid does really good, good. I mean, gnarly stuff on a bike, good style. But how do you quantify that, right? Like, how do you make that into something and become like undeniable? Yeah, because. You know, there's oh, not. Yeah, here we go. We, yeah, we, we got sorry. Him. Yeah, Gordon Keck. Sorry, like I don't even. I don't even know his. Dude, 107 thousand. No, he does some. Let's watch some of his shit. He does quick. some really cool stuff, but it's very Axel Hodges esque, right? Yeah. Um, Which was bound to happen. No, no, and, and I'm not. I think it's insane. But how do you quantify in that, like, you know, to making, um, Dude, a does business? He, does he run O'Neill because of buttery? You know, O'Neill's <laughs> aggress O'Neill's aggressive and like that's gnarly. Like that that's a huge That's a big gap. fucking hit. Yeah, and if you case that you're done. <laughs> like the kid has Steez. How um, old would this kid be? I think 22, 21. He was a, tried to be a racer like Yeah. Um he was about like Axel, right? Like just off the cuff of being 
good. But how good's his style? Like he's got good style. Yeah, he rips. But, um, you know. Oh, like he, <laughs> daddy. He, yeah, the kids got steez, man. Like uh, I like the jersey thing too. Yeah, two K forty seven. He hung with. I think he was like part of Buttery's crew early, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Um, and Buttery, there, he's businessman. Dude, hit follow on this kid for me too, Ronan. And that would be fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that that's kind of the thing that um, the like. The worst thing that you could do as a kid that's like wanting to follow the Berryman and wanting to follow the Axle Path is think that they just got what they got because of PH or because of Dirt Shark or because of Vermodo. Twitch. Or, yeah, like you have to understand that Berryman got what he got by being a fucking savage for years and years and years and years and that's the thing is like i think that yeah like by the looks of it that kid could be fucking dope but it's like you've got to do everything else man if you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and to listen to the full three-hour podcast search gypsy tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below gypsy gang